right, well, welcome back to the shop, everyone. Uh, today we're gonna get into my PRS clone for me. And I'm uh, pretty excited about this one. Some of my favorite wood I've gotten so far is in here. So let's uh, jump in and take a close peek where we're at and uh, some of the, I'll go ahead and get out all the uh, hardware we're gonna use too and we'll look through that. And I think today we're gonna focus on trying to make this neck fit in the body. We're close enough that uh, I'm ready to go for it. So. Got a little bit of a thicknessing up to do, but uh, do a lot of measuring and we'll cut that baby and see if we can get it in there today. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, the hardware for the build here. We're going ahead and going with some PRS SE locking tuners. Really good quality for the price on these guys. We have got some PRS 5708 pickups, my personal favorite. Now it's going to roll with, I'm not sure what the mix of gold and silver is going to be on this, but we've got brass in our tuners, we've got brass in our man-made wraparound bridge, so we've also got gold locking strap buttons, so we'll play around with the rest and see if we want gold or silver in different places to kind of mix it up a little, Let's see which one of those guys looks best. And yeah, we've got uh, gold knobs out right now, but I think this is going to get stained uh, purple to red to uh, yellowish burst. So I might even just go like one purple knob, one gold knob. We'll, we'll play that as we go. You know, we got pots going, got an unbleached nut. And being we're doing a PRS clone, I'm just going to go ahead and do my own set of birds on this build. And I'm going to do a bald eagle at the 12th fret, and I'm really hoping here we can get this to be his eye and work that out. And I've also got some fun stuff to try to do some feathers. I'm going to definitely on the wingtips and the tail, going to try to do some of my own feathers there, you know, working along with the lines on some of this stuff. And we'll be able to get some feathers going. Yeah, pretty excited about that. So yeah, this is what we're gonna be rolling with. So uh, let's let's take a look at the the body and the neck. All right. So this guitar's been around for a while. It's been in the works. Um, and yeah, it might look vaguely familiar from some pictures a long time ago in an intro or something. But um, yeah, we've got some really fine quilt going on in here. Very symmetrical. A lot of good stuff going on. One some point here we'll get this a little damp and let you really see what's going on because it is just phenomenal. But yeah, you know, kind of a standard PR shape going right now. Got white limba back. And uh yeah, super quilty control cover. Yeah, we are coming along, starting to take some shapes, and yeah, just keep massaging it. That's my that's my motto. Been kind of a uh, different on this one, you know. I have a PRS Hollow Body Two, and it's always been my kind of go-to guitar, and it's got a rosewood fretboard, so I tried a little different something here. Um. Yeah, I've always used ebony on everything else. Really love the feel of ebony. But uh, you see, you know, this can be a little warmer, I guess to say, right? This is the first um, first fretboard I did with using line indicator pins. It worked really well. I was really happy with it, how it went. Before, I've always just used a little bit of salt and uh, Irish luck and I've had good success but I really wanted to nail this one because this is really really nice piece of black limba kind of mixed black and white limba and yeah really fun stuff going on so I really wanted to get this one right and yeah you can see you know um, I really when I build my necks I just kind of contour it to a template 
and just kind of match that template and we're really close just got to take a tiny bit more width down over on this side our fretboard is a little too long here on the end but uh should have done that right the first time but i will definitely get that taken care of and uh yeah we're ready to cut this thing down and fit it in so let's get some work going huh all right
All right, what a day's work, huh? Uh, that was great. We uh, got really good neck fit, and now we yeah we gotta take a little bit of height off of it and get some neck break angle going in there. But yeah, I'm uh, real happy with where we went today. Next episode, I guess we'll have to keep finalizing some shapes here and uh, get this baby ready. Uh, I'm pretty excited about the way this is gonna stain. Um, like I said, I just saw this really amazing guitar. It was a, it was a PRS private stock. And uh, during the staining process, it completely went a different way in the end. In the middle of the process, it was a purple ring going into a little bit of reddish orange with the yellowish orange center. And um, I think this is what we're gonna go with here. And I think I'm gonna do the entire back purple. Still have a clean maple ring. And then with our landscape on the neck, the land is going to be purple and the white limb or the sky is going to be yellow. I'm really excited to see how that turns out. And uh, this one's for me, so it doesn't, doesn't affect anybody else. So uh, yeah, we'll keep on keeping on here and uh, appreciate you watching the channel. And uh, if uh, you like what we're doing, then uh, come on back. Uh, we'll see you guys real soon, all right? Cheers.